Hi Year 9, today we're going to explore meaning through symbolism. So to do this, we're going to identify the connotations and meanings of various colours and symbols and you're going to explore various forms of symbolism in film and theatre. Today you'll need a pen, some paper, a whiteboard, a whiteboard pen and a rubber. Whenever you see this icon, this means there are tasks that you need to complete and upload onto Crash Charts. So for instance, this could be an entrance task or an exit task, task one, task two, for example. Please make sure your responses are in full sentences. Whenever you see this icon, this means there's an extra challenge for you to upload your recorded response. Please remember, you only need to record your voice. If you are submitting a handwritten response, so taking a picture of your work and uploading this to Crash Charts, please remember to check that your image is clearly visible and not too dark to read. So here's your entrance tasks upload. Look at the images. What do these symbols mean? And do they have multiple meanings? Explain your answer. And then name three other symbols with multiple meanings. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. You've probably played this game with me before in the drama studio. It's a word association game. So let's see if we can play it online. <laughs> so what comes to mind when you think of the colour red? Have a think. Did you get love? Anger? Pain, stop, danger. So you're going to see various colours on the screen, then write down as many connotations. Now connotations are links. So write down as many connotations, as many links as you can to the given colour. You'll only need to write down one word. So for instance, with red, instead of writing danger zone, you can just write danger. You'll need your whiteboard and whiteboard pen and rubber for this task. So pause the video if you need to and make sure you've got the right equipment before we begin. Okay, have you got your whiteboard and your whiteboard pen and rubber ready? Okay, so five seconds. How many links can you think of with the colour yellow? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. So you should have probably got happiness, creativity, madness, betrayal, sunshine. Yeah? Well done if you did. Okay, here's another one. How many can you get with the colour purple? Five seconds starts now. Time's up. Did you get royalty? Luxury, power, wisdom, and mystery. Okay, here's another. Five seconds for blue. Go. Okay, did you get inspiration, stability, reliability, calming, cold, and peace? Did you get those, or at least one of them, or two of them? Well done, well done. Okay, so here's one more. Here, the colour black. Five seconds. Okay, so did you get power, mystery, sadness and authority? Okay, so we're going to switch it. <laughs> okay, so you have these words, wealth, magic, wisdom, riches, passion. What colour can you think of that links to these words. You have five seconds starting now. Okay, did you get it? It's gold. You're well done if you did. Here's another one. What colour links to health, passion, war and courage? Five seconds starts now. And did you get it? Excellent, it's red. Let's try another one. So five seconds, cold, purity, bland, innocence. What colour? 
links to this in five. Time's up. <laughs> it's white. Okay, well done if you got it right. So have the one more. So what colour links to tranquility, luck, health, envy, and jealousy? Five seconds start now. Time's up. What did you get? Did you get green? Well done. For the next few weeks, we are going to be looking at various stimuli. Now, stimuli is plural for stimulus, and a stimulus is a starting point, and a starting point can be anything. It can be a picture or an item, a song, a word, anything, literally anything. And within some of the stimuli, you are going to be analysing colour and what they could suggest for different characters. And some of you uploaded some really good ideas for the ego image from my last lesson, so well done. So here is your first task. Watch the video clips below and make between five to ten points on symbolism and colours used in films. So secured and mastered, you will do the same task, but secured, you'll also include notes on sound and music. And then mastered, identify how colour can have various meanings for different characters. So the links that you need below can also be found in Cash Charts. Pause this video and click on the link in Cash Charts. Task two. So this is the task that you need to upload. So watch the following clips and write a summary of between five to 10 lines on how the following have been used to symbolize meaning in one of the clips. So look at color, lighting and levels. Now remember your nine, levels are how high or low a character is and what does this level suggest about the character. So secured and mastered you'll do the same task but secured you're going to compare two clips with the above points so colour, lighting and levels and then mastered you're going to include how music and sound or the lack of music and sound also symbolise meaning. The links again once again the links that you need um, below can be found in Clash Charts, so pause this video and click on the links in the Clash Charts. Okay, so it's time to upload your work, but before uploading, please check that you've completed all tasks and that you've done this to the best of your ability and effort. If you have any queries regarding the task or your work, feel free to leave your question in the feedback section on Clash Charts and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And again, if you're taking a picture of your work and uploading this to Clash Chart, please remember to check that your image is clearly visible and not too dark to read. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.